morning and welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday, October 8th and I just finished doing my morning skincare routine and brushing my teeth but it is the first Sunday in October so I finally got to put on my sweater that I got from Aerie. It says Sunday Scaries on it so I thought it was the perfect sweater to wear today. So the plan for today is to clean my apartment. I like to spend my Sundays cleaning and getting everything ready for the next week so that when Monday rolls around I have a fresh start and nothing is weighing heavy on my shoulders. So I'm going to be spending the day cleaning. I also have to do a lot of laundry that's piled up from the week. But yeah, my closet definitely needs to be more organized. Well, there's just clothes all over the floor and nothing is really organized in there. The closet is still something that I need to tackle. I haven't really got around to doing it yet because it's the last thing that I wanna do, but maybe this week I will finally get to doing that. But yeah, there's just a lot that I have to do today. So in order to do that, I need to make myself some coffee. So I'm gonna head to the kitchen and make my coffee. through and tidied everything up out here but I wanted to do a little tour of our outdoor patio space because over the weekend we did a little makeover and since it is October I went with a Halloween theme but I am obsessed I love sitting out here and having my coffee in the morning and it's even better at night when I have all of my candles lit and all the lanterns on it's just really peaceful out here but I will go ahead and start here at our door. So I hung this wreath up that I got from Target. It actually lights up and it's just really cute. Here in the corner, I just have some witches brooms that I've had for a couple of years. So I just threw them there in the corner. And then I got this lounge set off of Amazon. It came with the L-shaped couch and the table. However, it arrived damaged and we had to glue a bunch of pieces together. So that was really frustrating. So hopefully it'll hold up and last while we're here. I don't really expect it to be like the best quality, but as long as it does the job, then I'm happy. But I got these four pillows from Target and I'm obsessed with them. So this one right here is like a gray velvet and it has these spiders and bugs all over it. And some of them are actually beaded. This orange one is super cute. It says roses are red, shadows are black, ghost in the garden, watch your back. So I thought this one was perfect since we are kind of out in the garden. And then I think this one has to be my favorite. I just think it's so cute, but also a little bit spooky. And then the last one is this botanical print. It also has that like boucle texture. So that one's really cute too. And I think it can also be used for fall too. So love my target pillows. And then I've had this for many years now. It's just a throw, but it works perfectly for Halloween because it's black and white. And then over here on my coffee table, I just have my planner. And then I picked up this spider bowl from the Halloween section at Target. And I just put some of these healthier candies in there. They're basically um, little gummy fruits. In this basket, I have a pumpkin woods candle from Target. It smells so, so good. And I love that it has the wood wick candles because it makes that crackling sound and it just really adds to the ambience out here and then this year i also purchased these faux leather coffee coasters and they have a bunch of little spiders on them and then i've had these candles for a couple of years now so i just put them all here and then to tie everything in i put a little pumpkin right here i have these pumpkin lanterns that i purchased from kirkland's uh, i think it was last year but i love them and this one is broken so i have to turn it over and take this out so that it turns off otherwise it will just stay on so i have to do that but yeah i have two lanterns over here and then the other one is at this corner but i'm excited to show you guys what it looks like at night so i'll come back out here again later this evening and show you guys what it looks like i just came in from outside i was drinking my coffee and reading my book out there for a little bit but it is so cold i want to check and see what the temperature is because i think this is the coldest it's been this fall so right now it's 61 so i'm pretty sure when i was out there this morning it was probably 
in the 50s, which is quite chilly. So I'm trying to warm my hands up here before I start making breakfast. So about two weeks ago, I started my own sourdough starter. So this is her right here. She is super full right now. I have a lot in here because I fed it last night when I already started with like this much. But the reason I have so much is because I want to make some sourdough pancakes this morning. So I'll need about two cups of this and then the rest I'm gonna use to make my first sourdough dough, <laughs> sourdough dough. My main goal is to learn how to make sourdough bread so that we can just make our own and don't have to go out and buy stuff that has a bunch of random ingredients in it. But I've already cooked with my sourdough starter a couple of times. I've made sourdough pancakes, which were amazing. And then I attempted crepes earlier this week, but they did not turn out as good. They were a little bit too eggy. So I'm not sure what happened there, but that's all that I've made so far. My main goal is to make sourdough bread. So we're going to use a lot of this up this morning to make pancakes, but I think I'll probably serve some eggs on the side for some extra protein. We had bacon last time with the pancakes and that was such a good combo, like the salty and sweet but we don't have any bacon today, so we'll just supplement with eggs. So the recipe that I'm using is by Farmhouse on Boone. I'm currently looking at it on Pinterest, but she also makes really great YouTube videos. So I'm super happy that I found her because I really like how easy her recipes are. So this sourdough pancake recipe calls for two cups of active sourdough, two eggs, one fourth cup of coconut oil, two tablespoons of honey, half teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda and some coconut oil for frying. I realized I only had one egg left after making the pancakes, so I supplemented with a side of fruit. So we have some strawberries and blackberries on the side, but I'm excited to dig into these delicious sourdough pancakes. So the timer just went off, that means it's been 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my sourdough starter and the salt, and then we're gonna add that to the dough mixture here, and then we're gonna allow that to rest in the oven with the light on for another 30 minutes before we start stretching and folding the dough. So 206 grams, I'm gonna take a little bit out of there because I do want it to be exact. There we go. So that is 200 on the dot. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this starter into the dough now. I'm gonna scrape the bowl just to make sure I have all 200 grams. Okay. And now we're gonna measure out 20 grams of salt. Hopefully I have enough salt left in my container here. Let's see. I think it should be good. Hopefully. Yeah, I might have just about 20 on the dot. That's crazy. Ooh. Oh, perfect. I have 20 grams here with just this much left in my salt container, so that was perfect. I'm just gonna sprinkle this over the top of this mixture. Now that we have the sourdough starter and the salt added, we're gonna go ahead and mix this all together with our hands for about five minutes just until it's well incorporated. And it says to dimple it into the dough. And then we'll do some squeezing motions as well just to really get that salt and starter mixed into the flour and water mixture. And then we're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and put it in the oven for another 30 minutes. And then I'll be back for the first stretch and fold. Alright, so 
so we are now into our second round of stretching and folding so we are going to do this six times every 15 minutes but this allows the air bubbles to get into the dough so we're just gonna fold this about four times it's already looking so smooth and soft we'll do one more if we can already getting kind of tight though so I'm just gonna leave it like that we're gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and put it back in the oven with the light on there's no heat on it's just being stored in the oven for warmth I just finished cleaning the majority of the house. I cleaned the entire kitchen. I tidied up the living room and vacuumed the couch, which was much needed because our dogs like to sneak up here sometimes and get hair everywhere. I also cleaned and wiped down both of our bathrooms. And I also started doing some laundry. So right now I'm actually washing our bed sheets. And I typically like to wash those once a week. I'm also really close to getting my 10K steps for the day. And that's just from being inside and cleaning the house all day. So that's pretty cool. I didn't have to do any exercise today because today is my rest day from the gym. But it is around 5 o'clock now. And we're going to go ahead and take the dogs on a walk in our neighborhood. It is the prettiest day outside. So we definitely want to take advantage and get some fresh air. And then when we come back, I'll go ahead and start dinner. So I'm making a new recipe tonight. I'm making cheeseburger bowls. It's just a recipe that I found on Pinterest. It looks really good and simple. The only things I have left to do is vacuum and mop the floors. So I'll do that a little bit later after dinner and everything. Typically, I like to do something for myself on Sundays. So I like to pamper myself a little bit and spend some time on myself. So I may dive in to painting my nails today or I might just do that tomorrow on Monday. We'll see. I just want to do something for myself if I have time. If I don't have time today, that's fine too because it is getting a little bit later in the day. But yeah, that's basically the plan for the rest of the evening. So I'm going to go ahead and get the dogs ready for our walk. Mm -hmm. 